Hey guys, so I gotta get to work, so I gotta make this video like super quick, but basically I saw Emily Noel, she did this video on her favorite matte um, lipsticks. I was trying to think about what it was. And I really fell in love with the idea of doing something like that. And so I toyed around with the idea. I was like, well, do I want to um, do kind of like my favorite matte lipsticks? And she gave really, really good recommendations. So I kind of felt like I would either be repeating too much of what she said or my video would just be way too redundant because um, she already gave really, really good options. So I decided instead of doing my favorite matte lipsticks, I would just do some of my favorite matte makeup products. So I have my absolute top 10 favorites. It covers everything from lip products to face products to cheek products. I mean, everything that you could ever want for matte makeup. So let's just get started. Also realize I don't have lip color on and that's because I always film before I eat and I hate eating with lipstick on. So bear with me guys. I promise there will come a time where I will have lipstick on in every video. Maybe. I don't know. That's not really me. Okay. Anyway, uh, first things first, we'll start with foundation. Um, I have two options here for you depending on the level of coverage you want. If you are somebody who feels like you need a lot to cover and you want something very long lasting, you kind of want that full coverage, long lasting foundation, the Sephora um, 10 hour wear perfection foundation is my favorite. I absolutely love this foundation and I hate that right now the shade is too light for me because I've been missing this stuff so much, but come winter, Oh, this is my baby. Um, I love it because first off, it has a pump, which is great. I have it in the shade Light Ecru number 12. You guys can get a look at that there. Um, the bottle is gorgeous. It's got that kind of frosted glass, which it doesn't make it so easy to do like a color match with per se, but if you go into Sephora, they all have testers, so that's really nice. The finish on this is just wonderful. It's matte, but it's not too matte. You'll notice this is sort of a theme throughout this video is that if a makeup product is gonna be matte, I still need it to look kind of natural. I still need it to, especially on the skin, I need it to translate like skin and not translate like a powdery, heavy finish. And that's what I love about this. If you have oily skin, you're not gonna find that this makes you look more oily at all. And if you have dry skin, this may be a little bit too matte for you because it is a matte foundation. But it's not so matte and so drying and so cakey that you can just tell the foundations on your skin. It's beautiful to blend in with Beauty Blender it works great with a brush. It works fine with your fingers. I would say my favorite method is definitely with the Beauty Blender. I really like Beauty Blenders for matte foundations just because it kind of shears it out and gives it a more skin-like finish. Um, but I love this stuff. I love the 10-hour wear claim. I totally agree with that. I love how it doesn't have like a ridiculous 24-hour wear claim. Um, it's very reasonable in price. It is just such a good foundation. And they have a great color selection as well. So there's my first recommendation. My next one for foundation-y type products is going to be the Garnier. Garnier BB Cream for combination to oily skin. It is so hard to find tinted moisturizers or kind of light coverage foundations that are matte. Almost every BB cream, every tinted moisturizer, whatever you want to call it out there, is going to have a dewy finish just because people who tend to gravitate towards those products tend to have those type of skin concerns where they need the hydration, they need the anti-aging abilities, whatever. I just don't think that there's a big enough market maybe for oily skin, people who like tinted moisturizers. If you are looking into that, this is the best one you will ever be able to find, I promise you. Now, I haven't tried the Jouet matte moisture tint. I want to get my hands on that so badly. But if you're kind of looking for a drugstore option, maybe give this a go. This shade selection isn't great. It's from Garnier. They have like two or three. Um, I have it in the shade light medium, which is way too dark for me in the winter because it's a very kind of like pinky base shade. Um, but in the summer it works really well, especially when I have a tan because it makes my tan look really awesome. This stuff, again, this finish on this is wonderful. It's matte, but it's not like so cakey and dry looking. The other cool thing about this is since it is a BB cream, you do get that moisture, which usually from matte products, you just don't get a lot of moisture. It's just not the nature of something that is, you know, meant to look so drying. But um, it really does give you a good amount of moisture. And I think that for people who have oily skin, you will absolutely love this. Now, if you have the most oily skin in the world, I don't know if this will work for you unless you use a really mattifying primer underneath it or like some type of a uh, um, primer that's going to help extend the wear of your foundation because this stuff isn't the most long wearing. Um, I'd probably steer more towards this. But again, if you're like super, super oily, even this you may have to prime just because if you have really oily skin, you're going to notice that that's a step you almost always have to take. But if you're just looking for a good matte tinted moisturizer, here it is. Moving on to powders. Now, matte powders, I think... 
again, I mean, especially if you layer them on top of a matte foundation, you can just get such a cakey effect. So it's hard to find ones that are really good. Now, my favorite that I've ever tried because I love the finish it gives to my skin is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. This is what I use to set my, um, what is it called, airbrush foundation. And airbrush foundation is very matte. And I would put that also on like my top favorite matte makeup products. Um, but I understand that airbrush foundation, it's not easily accessible to everybody. And if I mentioned it, it's like, okay, well, I have to buy this $100 machine. The foundation itself is like 20 bucks, whatever, which is why I left it out of this video. However, that stuff dries very matte on the skin. So it's kind of hard to want to powder it because you're like, uh, I'm going to look like a cakey dry mess. So I was kind of having a hard time with that when I first started experimenting with airbrush foundation because I just didn't know how I was going to powder it so I didn't get oily. Um, eventually, I decided to give this a try and it's awesome. It's one of those very silky, very finely milled, whatever you want to say, um, powders, kind of one of those like HD powders that has that very silica kind of feel to it. It's just smooth and slippery and silky and wonderful. Over the airbrush foundation, I don't find that it mattifies it more. I just find that it gives it a beautiful texture. And that's the wonderful thing about this is that if you put it on something dewy, it is going to give it a more matte finish, obviously. But if you put it on something matte, it's not going to make it look more matte and more cakey. It's just going to make it look smooth. And sometimes when you're dealing with matte makeup, you can have an issue with texture. You really can. Um, you can really see all like the little bumps or you can see all the little dry patches. And this just kind of smooths it all out. Makes it look really clean and really even and just wonderful. And I really, really like this. So if you're looking for something to fit that weird bracket, Give this a try. Okay, I'm trying to do this like in a way that maybe I would do my face. We're gonna move on to some eyeshadows. I love the matte brown Maybelline color tattoo. Now Maybelline color tattoo, they have a few different matte um, shades within that entire line, but matte brown and toughest toe probably are some of my favorites. Unfortunately, I'm not wearing this one today. I'm wearing toughest taupe on my lid, but I wear matte brown almost all the time. I did a get ready with me easy summer makeup tutorial featuring this, so you can definitely go check that out. Lovely, lovely, lovely product. It's matte, but again, it doesn't pick up any dry spots on your lids. It blends out beautifully. Um, a really nice, long-wearing, great cream eyeshadow. I find that it can be very difficult to find good matte cream eyeshadows. Almost every single cream eyeshadow formulation out there has a bit of a shimmer to it, but um, some of the Maybelline color tattoos are completely matte, and they're all wonderful. So um, I think this one was limited edition, so you can't really pick this one up anymore, but Toughest Taupe, I know they just released like the leather collection or something that is all matte so um, definitely give a matte Maybelline color tattoo a try because they are awesome. For just regular powder eyeshadows I have to give it to Lorac matte eyeshadows. They just wow me every single time. So this is Lorac Pro 2 palette which has been the palette that I've been playing with most recently. Um, you of course have that rose shimmer but all down here all those beautiful creamy wonderful matte shades. We'll just swatch a few of them. I mean they are so buttery and so smooth. Can you guys just see like the pigmentation on those? I like barely have to tap my finger into them and I get like full blown on pigmentation. They are just incredible. They are some of the most pigmented, most blendable, most flattering matte eyeshadows I've ever tried. And there are some matte eyeshadows from like MAC, there's some from Physicians Formula that I really like, but None of them have been able to compare to these. Um, I just find that whenever I need a matte eyeshadow, I always go to Lorac because I just really enjoy them. I have to show you guys a matte black eyeliner that I love, and that is definitely the L'Oreal um, Infallible Lacquer Liner, the 24-hour one. This stuff is great. It is so smooth and so creamy in the pot that you're like, how will this ever go matte? But I find that when you apply it to your eyes and you just let it dry for like 30 seconds, it goes completely matte, which I personally do prefer a matte black eyeliner. Um, I love like my Stila liquid eyeliner pen. I love my Physicians Formula liquid eyeliner pen, but I so badly wish that I could just find a good matte liquid eyeliner pen because those are really hard to come by. Um, so usually if I want a matte liner, I have to go to gel, which is totally fine because I do really like gel. I love the way it looks. And so if you are looking for that just perfect, really, really intense, dark matte black eyeliner and you want something affordable, this is great. Um, even if you don't want something affordable. Like, this is one of the best eyeliners, and when I used to work at Ulta, I recommended this above anything else we had in the prestige department because I love this stuff to death. It is amazing, and it lasts forever, and I haven't had to dry out on me at all, so really, really good stuff. 
I don't think a matte makeup product video would be without a good matte bronzer because I feel like that's a staple everybody needs in their collection. And my favorite, even though I don't think you can find it anymore, <laughs> which is so sad, is the Revlon Photo Ready Bronzed and Chic Bronzer. This is technically the only bronzer in the Photo Ready line. I've had some questions asking like what shade this is. It's called Bronzed and Chic, but it's the only one. Um, this is what it looks like. If you can track this puppy down, do it because it is wonderful. And I bet there's still some CVSs or Walgreens, which this little baby is floating around. I know it was 75% off for the longest time. Um, it is just amazing. You got a little quadrant here full of cool tones, full of um, warm tones, and it creates the most natural bronze effect. I'm wearing it today. It's what I use almost every single day to do my contour because I just love the way it looks. And when I run out of this stuff, I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> um, it's just really affordable and it works well. I love my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and stuff, don't get me wrong, but for some reason I just always pick this over it. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's just because it's like a really easy format and I just like the packaging and I just, I don't know. There's just something about it I love. Um, completely matte, but not, again, drying and cakey and gross. This is a really, really great matte bronzer. This stuff is also not really orange. I'd like to point that out as well. Okay, moving on to some cheeks because I love matte blush more than almost any other matte I mean, other than matte foundation, because I'm a matte foundation girl at heart, I love matte blush. Um, I really like to control where the shimmer is going, and today I do have a bit of highlighter on, so any of the sheen is coming from that, but I don't like having that look sometimes all over my cheeks. I just, I was going to go all over my face, but you don't apply blush all over your face typically. Um, I mean, all over my cheeks. I really like just having it at the tops of my cheekbones and then having everything down be matte. Um, and my favorite are the Balm Instain blushes. Surprise, surprise. I talk about these like in every single video. This one is in the shade Argyle, and it is my favorite. It's just a beautiful matte pink. Um, it is the most flattering matte pink I've ever tried in my entire life because it's not like bubblegummy and gross where I look like a middle schooler who just like really went ham on the pink blush. It looks very professional and looks very put together and mature and it's just wonderful. Again, the finish on these is matte, but it's not too matte. Um, I am wearing this pink shade today and I just love it. Um, it looks like skin. It doesn't look like matte cakey blush, but it's there's no shimmer to it. There's no glitter. There's no sheen. It's matte. It just is beautiful. And there is a swatch of that if you guys want it. Just, I mean, the most perfect pink blush I've ever tried in my entire life. Also with these, extremely long wearing oh, yeah. and stain because they're meant to be powder blush stains. And I totally agree. These things will last you all day long. Um, very pigmented, smooth, blendable, creamy. You guys know the drill. All right, so down to lip products. This is really hard for me because I love my matte lipsticks. I really love just a good matte lip. And I've been experimenting with OCC Lip Tars recently, which I love, and it's really hard for me to narrow this down, guys. There is one product that I know for sure is my favorite, but there's just so many others that I feel are around the same level. So I'm gonna start with my one that is for sure my favorite, and then show you two options that are just so similar that I can't really pick one over the Together. So I'm kind of counting them as one, although they are two separate ones. It just depends on your price point and really what you want to purchase. Um, but the one that I think stands above all is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. These are incredible. They are very expensive. This one is in the shade Corella, but they are one of the few moisturizing matte lip products out there. Um, I don't find that they dry my lips out, but they last all day long. And that's why I love this one in particular, because if I'm going to wear red, I want my lips to be red all day. I don't want it to fade to like a berry. I don't want it to fade to a pink. I don't want it to get gross and look chapped and just start, start to like almost peel off, which I find happens with a lot of matte lip products. This just stays on and it stays beautiful all day. Like there's nothing I don't like about this. The fact that you have to sharpen these yourself, I don't think that there's anything wrong with this product. It is just wonderful. The color selection is beautiful. They have pinks, they have nudes, they have rosy tones, they have reds, they have um, a really, really dark, like bluey purple called Train Blue, which I want so freaking badly. Um, I just love these. And so if you're looking for just like that perfect matte lipstick, give the NARS Velvet Mattes a try because they are great. And then onto the two products that I find to be like so similar. I just cannot pick between them. The first one is the thing that everybody's been raving about recently. I don't even fully remember the name. These are the Sephora, oh god, 
Why aren't they on the bottom here? Okay, I'm pretty sure I don't have the box either. They're like the Luster Matte Lip Creams is what I want to say that they are. Um, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But they are the thing that everybody's been talking about recently. They are Sephora's, oh wait, it's right here. Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color. There we go. They come with these kind of funky uh, doe foot applicators. This one here is in the shade of Deep Plum Luster. The perfect fall burgundy shade. The thing that I find about these is that while they are matte, when they go onto the lips, they provide a really good amount of moisture, but they don't dry as matte as, say, the NARS one does. The NARS one is matte when you put it on. This stuff looks very shiny when you put it on, and then within a couple of seconds, it starts to become more matte, but it never goes, like, super insanely matte. It, and it's not that it's shiny either. The finish is so hard to describe because looking at me, it looks like I have a matte lip on. But when you rub your lips together, it doesn't feel like a matte. It feels like there's a gloss there. It's it's insane, but it just looks really flattering. Um, I don't think that it's as matte as, like I said, the NARS one because this goes on matte and it dries matte and it's just, it's matte. If you're looking for something that's not gonna be maybe as matte as this, but you still want to enjoy a matte lip, this is a great way to go. And the shade is just so pretty. I'll do a swatch of it so you guys can just see like the pigmentation level it is insane like oh how gorgeous is that they're just absolutely stunning this is the only one I have but I love it so I had to mention it and then the other product that I find to be so comparable to this is the OCC lip tars not the stained gloss just the regular they now call them matte lip tars these are like the same exact formulation. <laughs> I got this little test tube set and I've been experimenting. I'm going to be doing a whole lip mix, lip swatch video with these soon. Um, but I've just been experimenting with these and I find that the look on the lips is the exact same. They dry matte, but when you rub your lips together, they don't feel super matte, but there's definitely like no shine there. They're just really, really comfortable to wear. And I find that the OCC lip tars are just so awesome because you just need such a little amount and they go such a long ways. And these babies are so long wearing. I would say that they're a bit more long wearing than let's say the Sephora one. I don't find the Sephora one to be super long wearing. It wears for about like four or five hours. These things I can get like seven to eight hours out of. They are awesome. This one is in the shade NSFW, which is just the red. But I also have like this little one in black. There's one that I have that's a yellow. So I get to like mix them and I really love that about them too. Um, they're just amazing. Really, really good uh, matte lip products. And I would recommend all these three all the same. Um, just uh, based off my descriptions, it kind of depends on what you're going for. But here is that Sephora matte uh, lip cream just so you guys can get an idea of the finish you can see here it's matte but maybe the swatch does it better than how I would describe it matte but there's still something about it that makes your lips look plump and full and not dry alrighty guys that is it so we reached the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all later bye bye